Hey guys, I'm here with my latest purchase from a local pawn shop, an Armalite AR-180B, and uh, I've made some improvements to it, but, and there'll be a video on that later, don't worry, but one upgrade that I felt deserved its own video is this Nodak Spud NDS-18S replacement lower receiver. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, but wait a minute, isn't the lower receiver the serialized part? It is. Uh, this is actually a firearm. It's valuable for guys like myself who bought the 180B because the 180B uses an entirely polymer lower receiver. Because of this, the metal takedown pins that you drive between the two halves of the receiver will wear out the lower receiver fairly quickly because on the AR-180B, you're supposed to use the edge of a screwdriver, a flathead, to pry it to get it started. Consequently, you'll eventually dig through that polymer and it'll eventually work itself to pieces. Guys looking to protect their original lower can buy the NDS-18S lower from Nodak to safeguard their original investment. It still uses the same interface for stocks, but incorporates an AR-15 pistol grip, utilizes an AR-15 magazine release, and of course, just like the 180B, still uses Stanag magazines like this Daniel Defense DD magazine. It's really, really nice, and what's cool is to keep it in the spirit of the original stamped steel lower receiver, Nodak has incorporated little fake rivets in the aluminum, which really gives the look of an original receiver. Now, of course, it's, it's very clearly anodized aluminum, and you can tell because next to the steel, the two colors don't match, obviously, but it's really, really nice. Sure, it adds a little bit of weight to the design, but overall, it's a very, very light little piston AR alternative. And you'll notice um, that even though it does take standard AR-18, AR-180 style butt stocks, I've got a Magpul slimline stock on here, and I used, uh, obviously, a buffer extension tube, but I had to get this adapter here from Stormworks, which I'll, I'll go into in my next video about this gun, which will be an upgrade guide. But in the meantime, let's, uh, let's take it for a spin and see how it runs. Really, really nice. Not very much recoil at all. Sure, it's only a 5.56 and it is a piston gun, so it does have a little more recoil than a direct impingement rifle. Uh, the only thing I'd actually change about the AR-180B, other than perhaps putting a metal reinforcement inside the lower, would be to replace this integral comp with a threaded muzzle. In its defense, this gun was made before the sunset of the assault weapons ban, so they couldn't do that. Thankfully, if you look, there's a great deal of, of like meat, if you will, or excess material to the end of this barrel, and you could easily have a competent gunsmith cut back and thread it to something like half by 28, so you can put whatever muzzle device you want on there, like a compensator, flash hider, or you know what I prefer, a sound suppressor. And a sound suppressor in particular would work really, really well because it is a piston-driven action. Um, in terms of modularity of the system, uh, while it appears there's no interface for any sort of optics, there's actually a little QD mount right here. And uh, it's really strange looking when you first see it, almost like a, like a modified delta or some such. But what it is, is you put a spring-loaded pick rail on there that has like the invert image of this down on, snaps forward, and you're good to go. It's a pretty nice little light rifle, and I gotta say, I believe if Armalite had introduced this rifle with the Nodak Spud lower on it in the first place, it would probably still be in their product catalog as opposed to lingering in some poor pawn shop for guys like me to pick up for a song. Last thing I want to note real fast is if you're picking up one of these, it does use an AR-15 style pistol grip, but one thing to note is the pistol grip you choose to install has to lack an extended tang. So that means A2, A1, fine. This Troy Battle Grip, phenomenal. Um, Magpul style with the, with the extended tank will not work without modification. Uh, same goes for the uh, hex mag, hex grip, and a, and a few others. Basically, check to see if it comes to a flat back like an A2 or A1 style pistol grip, and if it doesn't, expect to have to modify it to get it to fit. Overall, with an MSRP of $265, the Nodak Spud NDS 18S is an amazing upgrade to the AR 180B or AR-180 system, especially for shooters who have always wanted a folding stock but couldn't get one. 
The interface is supported by multiple manufacturers that now produce folding hinges that will attach to this Nodak Spud rear receiver. And so you can finally customize and trick out your AR-180B like it was an AR-15. Awesome. Thanks guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more burst reviews.